Hello, I'm Penny Zacco, and I want to introduce you today to my lovely Arga here in Slate, the R7. The R7 is one of the everyday radiant Arga cookers. So you can have heat from your Arga 24 seven and it's always ready to cook on. If you love what's classic about an Arga, that's 24 seven heat and the ability to cook on your cooker 24-7-2, then the R7 is a perfect choice for you. The R7 oozes classic Arga with its beautiful enamelled front, its classic hot plates here. But actually, this new addition to the Arga family has lower running costs. It comes with its own plinth and no flue and all electric so you will not only see a difference in the cooking performance, but also in your back pocket as well. Behind this door here with the lovely Arga brand, I can show you exactly how this cooker operates. It doesn't just have one heat setting, it actually has four. It has a slumber setting, it has a low setting, it has a normal setting, and it has a high setting too. So that's four different settings for your ovens, all capable of cooking on, but actually controlling the output of heat that comes from your cooker. The top dial here, you will see that you can work the hot plates independently. They heat up separately to your ovens. So there's never any compromise in the oven temperature whilst you're using the top. The top of the cooker is still beautifully in enameled, but what we've actually done is make the hot plates a lot bigger. And you've got a lot of cooking area here on the boiling plates and on the simmering plate here. Let me put the lids down. Beautiful and chrome, high quality. This R7 is the premium range of Arga cookers. We have our logo on the handrail here. And inside the ovens, we have a special coating on the cast iron to prevent rust. We have our Arga logo inside the door and these are now removable and you can pop those into the dishwasher to give them a good clean if you want to. Low maintenance, variable heat, independent hot plates, the classic Arga look, high quality finish enamel. The R7 is a wonderful cooker. This Arga also heats up incredibly quickly and as it's heating up, the actual icon that you've chosen will be flashing. Once it goes solid red, it's ready to cook on. The R7 is a perfect Arga cooker for you guys that actually want to have the heat all day but want some type of control over it. And if you work at home, the R7 is a lovely addition to your kitchen. With its variable heat, it does mean that actually you can cook in all the ovens all at the same time. And you just turn the hot plates on as and when you want to. The great thing about it is the hot plates heat up incredibly quickly. Because your ovens are on, the hot plates will only take around about seven to eight minutes to actually heat up. So when you fancy a cuppa, you take your kettle, lift up the lid on the boiling plate and pop it straight on there. The Arga cooker replaces a lot of other appliances that you might have in the home, such as the electric kettle, but also the electric toaster as well. And when you purchase your Arga, you will actually get one of these as part of your package. This is the toaster here, and you can actually toast on the simmering plate, like so, or you can also toast on the boiling plate. It's entirely up to you. The kettle will also boil over here. So I could do this, be toasting and boiling. This is just a slightly lower temperature, so things just take a little bit longer on there. But the great thing is, if you haven't actually got both hot plates on, you can still do the same thing on either one. I've got some lovely brown bread here, so I'm just going to place it on top. It 
Cooking on the agar is incredibly easy. We give you this toaster here, but a great thing to purchase alongside your agar is actually the piece of Bako Glide, which fits onto the simmering plate over here. Now you can cook directly on there if you want to, but this makes this a non-stick area. So if you just place it on the top like so, you can also do your toast on there, tea cakes, crumpets, even a nice little waffle. But what's really great, and every agar owner will agree with me on this, is actually to cook an egg on the simmering plate while your toast is toasting. So, toast, an egg, no smelly frying pans, and a lovely whistling kettle. The R7 has a real sense of home. The other great thing about the R7 is it's incredibly easy to maintain and keep clean yourself. And you get a wire brush as well with your agar, and whenever you've cooked anything on the top here, if you just brush it off gently with the wire brush, those crumbs will just come straight off and you end up with a really nice, clean, hot plate. You also use this for inside the ovens as well, and you just brush out the floors of the oven. They are really self-cleaning, and because with this model we've actually made this removable as well, your ovens always look gorgeous and clean and sparkly. The wow about this cooker lies behind the control door here, and you can see from this dial just below that we have four different settings for the cooker and that's the ovens. Now the ovens are on all the time um, when you choose one of these four. You can actually turn all your ovens off as well and you still have a very usable top here. So you don't need another cooker when you opt for the R7. This top setting here with the half moon, the crescent moon should I say, is actually a slumber setting. And this means that the cooker is just gently ticking over, giving a nice gentle warmth into your kitchen. Um, the ovens are around about 90 to 100 degrees, so you can actually still slow cooking them as well if you wanted to. The next setting, this one here, is a low power mode. And actually, typically, your roasting oven up here becomes more like a baking oven temperature. And your baking oven down here becomes a low baking temperature. The simmering oven, whatever setting it's on, will actually remain at the same temperature. The third setting is what we'd call the normal setting. So if you're a previous agar owner, it will actually be cooking at the same temperatures that you might be used to with one of our traditional agars. So basically, the top oven will be the roasting oven. This oven down here will be the baking oven. And this oven down here will be the simmering oven. Now, whatever setting it's on, oven's on all the time, so you have the movability from one oven to the next. And of course, not only does it change the temperature within the ovens, it actually changes the temperature from out of the ovens as well. So if you want more heat, then you'd have it on what we call the normal setting. But if you wanted less heat, but you still wanted the cooking ability, that gorgeous radiant heat cooking that comes from our cast iron ovens, then you can actually turn it lower. The low setting here is actually 10 degrees lower than the normal setting. And then if you look at the bottom, we have what we call a power boost, and that's 10 degrees hotter than the normal setting. Now that's a really good function to have, because if you're doing a lot of cooking, um, you're putting a lot of frozen or chilled food inside the oven, then that power boost is a godsend. Now, when you've turned your cooker off, to actually come up, first of all, to this setting here, which is the slumber setting, you're only looking at around about three and a half hours, so not long to wait. Incredibly flexible, radiant heat cooking. This dial here controlling the hot plates as I've already said will work independently so if my ovens weren't on as they are now I've still got a very usable cooking space on the top boiling your kettle doing your toast using the simmering plate as a indoor griddle the R7 with its choice of four different temperature variants means that this cooker can be turned up and down depending on the occasion, the time of year, and of course the weather outside. Today my agar is set at normal 
oven temperatures. So that means the top oven is a roasting oven. And here I've got a gorgeous leg of lamb. I'm going to show you how easy it is to cook in here fuss free so you don't need to be faffing around and you don't want to be doing that you want gorgeous tasting food with the minimum amount of effort and when you've got the R7 in your home you'll have exactly that sitting on the back here on the enamel I've actually got some really lovely glazed ingredients so I've got some pomegranate molasses some garlic some lemon juice and some olive oil and by using the top of the arger here with the gentle heat that comes through because the ovens are on for the majority of the time everything is just lovely and infused there and I'm going to now tip that over my leg of lamb. Now if you are actually doing a joint of meat it's always a good idea to first of all place it in the roasting oven or the baking oven to get it going. We're going to slow cook this so it's not going to stay in those ovens it's actually going to carry on cooking in my simmering oven and I love to use this large roaster it really shows off the capacity of our ovens the tops a griddle pan as well which is really nifty don't need to put that on yet want to brown the lamb off first so we're going to go into the roasting oven here I've got my shelf set here on the lowest set of runners and you can actually move your shelves up and down depending on how much direct heat you want the higher the shelf is, the more direct heat will come from the top of the agar ovens. So the lower down, the least amount, and it also depends what you're cooking it in. To go with the lamb, I fancy a little bit of couscous, and here I've got some couscous that I've already um, popped into this Port Marion dish here. Cheated a little, this is a ready-made couscous, but to heat it through and get a real nice, full, fresh flavour, what I like to do is actually cover it in a non-PVC cling film. And what's amazing about this cooker is this gentle heat down here in the simmering oven, you can actually reheat already cooked foods down there if you do it in this way. The other great thing about the simmering oven is you can also heat up tins of food as well. I've got here a tin of ready-made custard. And you just need to open up the lid and then you just pop that into the simmering oven you can put packets of sauces in there, you can put some ready-made rice in there. Just make sure you open the container that you're cooking them in and they will just heat through at a gentle rate. And because you're cooking with radiant heat inside the cast iron ovens, your food doesn't dry out. It tastes naturally succulent, nice and juicy, full of flavour and no fuss as well. If you haven't got the ovens on, you can actually use the enamel here as well to heat things through. We've already done a beautiful glaze to go on top of the uh, leg of lamb. So here I've got a tin of sweet corn that I've just opened up and popped into Pyrex dish. Covered it over with non-PVC cling film. And if you just sit it on the enamel like so, an hour and a half, that's heated through. You can also melt butter and chocolate on there as well. So. This top of the arga, because your ovens are on all the time, has a lovely residual heat coming through. You can even lift up the lid of your simmering plate. This isn't turned on. However, I've got a lovely heat coming from the roasting oven, so I can actually warm my plates on there as well if I want to, without having to turn it on at all. I like a nice drop of red wine to go with my lamb. And you can also use the top of your arga just for giving it a little gentle heat and just pop it on there and that'll just warm up nicely don't leave it on too long you don't want a mulled wine however come mulled wine season leave it on there a bit longer you don't need to bother with uh, saucepans and uh, stirring it and such like the baking oven is fantastic at roasting too just at a slightly lower temperature so if you're cooking something like a chicken or maybe a loin of pork something like that then actually using the baking oven at that lower cooking temperature is perfect but once again you can if you want to start your meat off in the roasting oven and then move it to the baking oven and remember for a slow cook move from the roasting oven down to the simmering oven because the ovens are on all the time the choice is yours the baking oven is fantastic at cooking fish as well. All you need to do is just a little drizzle of oil over the top and more for flavour rather than necessity. The R7 has that classic feature of cast iron ovens. 
gorgeous radiant heat for cooking our food which locks in, seals in moisture and flavour. And when you actually cook in the Arga style, you need far less fat to actually enable foods to cook. So when you taste the food, it just tastes more natural, more pure. The other great thing about cooking in a radiant heat Arga oven is that actually you can cook multiple foods in the same oven at the same time. So down in my baking oven already down here, which of course is fabulous at baking, I have my toffee apple crumble. And that just needs just a couple of minutes more, but what's fantastic is that can be cooking in the baking oven, but I can also place my lovely seafood here onto the floor of the oven to fry at the same time. So in we go, and that's just gonna slide underneath there, underneath the cake. And what's not gonna happen is we're not gonna have transfers of flavors happening in the oven. This Arga, the R7, you can turn all the ovens off. So when it's very hot outside, and that might only be a couple of weeks of the year, that you can turn them off and use the top. And actually the top of the Arga is your Arga Q, as I fondly call it. The baker glides back on the simmering plates. There's only the simmering plate on now, on the cooker. And here I've got some more lovely seafood. And I'm just gonna place it directly onto the simmer plate. And the gentle radiant heat of the cast iron simmering plate is going to gently cook that seafood. Now, I don't need to add any, but if you wanted to add a little bit of extra flavor, here, just sitting on the side, just melting whilst the simmering plate is on, I've got some really nice butter with a little bit of garlic in. So I'm just gonna pop that on a bit later on. So all the seafood is raw, and the gentle heat now is cooking those through. We leave the lid up, but if I turn them over, you can see that the monkfish is starting to cook. The prawns are changing colour, and that's just going to taste really, really lovely. They'll need round about four minutes side the side, and then dinner is done. So what the R7 does is offer you choice. Here we have our seafood cooked on the floor of the baking oven and here we have them griddled on the top. You can even cook them at the top of the roasting oven for a grill or fry them at the floor. It's entirely up to you. The R7 offers you a whole scope of cooking opportunities. The R7 is the perfect cooker for cooking for large groups of people. With the ovens on all the time, it means that you can be roasting in the top oven, you can be cooking your dessert down here, and in this one down here, your simmering oven, you can be stacking all your pans and steaming all your vegetables without the need to actually turn the top of the cooker on at all. You can fit up to six pans in your simmering oven down here, and the idea is that you'd bring your root vegetables up to the boil on the boiling plate, you then actually drain the water off, leaving just a small amount in the bottom. And then they then steam cook down here. This is the three oven R7, which gives you a roasting oven, a baking oven, and a simmering oven with your boiling plates and your simmering plate here. You also have a choice of having a five oven in the R7, and that would be an additional two ovens, which also offer you a second simmering oven, if you like, called the slow oven, and a warming oven. They work independently to the main body of the Arga, so the controls for the main body of the Arga are just here. If you had the five oven, there'd just be a push button to the side. You push that in, and those two ovens will actually heat up in just an hour. In addition as well, if you want to go whole hog, and you actually want some conventional cooking as well, you can also have a module to the side, which offers you a conventional oven with induction if you should wish. So the R7 is all singing, all dancing, and a big decision to make as well is what colour you would like. We now have the return of the racing green, the British racing green that people associate with Arga cookers. So you can really go to town with your design ideas inside your kitchens um, by actually choosing the model first of all, the size, and then of course the color.
Use your R7 however you want to. If you want a fast roast meat, then your roasting oven and your baking oven down there are ideal. But if you want the long, slow cooked meat, start it off in one of these ovens and then place it into your simmering oven, which is just down here. And your simmering oven replaces that traditional plug-in slow cooker. So once again, another appliance that you don't need when you have the R7. I'm going to open up the oven now and I'm going to take out that gorgeous lamb and show you just how lovely it has browned already inside the roasting oven. What you need to do then to actually cook in your slow oven or your simmering oven is to place the lid on top like so and that lamb's going to cook long and slow inside your simmering oven. Cooking on the R7 is very, very healthy, purely by the way that the Argo ovens cook. Here I've got some really lovely Mediterranean style vegetables. So we've got some peppers, we've got some onions, we've got some tomatoes and we've got some courgettes. And I've hardly put any oil at all on these. I just literally just massaged a little bit in with some garlic and a little bit of mixed herbs. Now the meat we've roasted in the middle of the roasting oven. So for these vegetables, it's great to just pop them towards the top, either in your roasting oven, or if you wanted to, you can also do it in the baking oven as well. So just a gentler heat. But if you want more of a charred sort of vegetable, then pop them into the roasting oven. So what I'm gonna do with this tray, very, very easy. You don't actually need the shelf this time. Just slide it at the top of the oven like so. And actually, if you take out the shelf, you can fit lots of the Argo cookware all in rows inside the oven. The R7 is a fantastic choice of Arga if you like to pop things into the oven and kind of forget about them, as we're doing with our lamb sitting in the simmering oven at the moment. But also, the R7 is fantastic for that snack whenever you're fancying a little nibble. We've seen the seafood brochettes on the top here, and actually what the R7 is brilliant at doing is cooking a pizza. Here I've got a lovely sourdough base with some mushrooms and some truffle. And if I open up the roasting oven now, you will see that we've got a solid cast iron floor there with the radiant heat all around. So actually, your roasting oven is a pizza oven as well. So if I lift this up, and you literally just pop it straight on the floor of the oven. And what we're going to end up there is a really lovely crispy base with a gorgeous melted topping. The direct heat from the floor of the oven is perfect for frying as well. So if you wanted a bacon sandwich, for instance, and you didn't want to turn the top on and you didn't want the frying pan, then actually you can cook on the floor of the oven down here, just on a baking tray if you wanted to. And the joy of that is if you don't get the smells inside your kitchen and you need minimum amount of oil, if any at all, actually with bacon to fry it up inside the oven. Perfect for pizzas. Also, one of my favourites, great for cooking a quiche. And when you cook a quiche, you don't actually need to blind bake that pastry. You can just pop everything inside a quiche tin, pop the whole thing on the floor of the oven. You'll get a lovely crispy pastry. At the same time, a lovely set filling as well. So the Arga cooker, the R7, is really fantastic at doing a whole host of different types of cooking styles, which are healthy and enjoyable to do as well. When you want to cook an entire meal, it's so easy on the Arga R7 because you can fit lots of different things inside the same oven. We've already seen the fish being cooked with the crumble and in the roasting oven at the moment, on that lower setting, I've got some fantastic chicken and some vegetables that are roasting. So we've got some chicken breasts here and you can see there with some lovely goat's cheese, some tarragon and some tomato. And then I've also got the roasted vegetables as well to go alongside it. Whether you choose to cook it in the baking oven or the roasting oven, you will actually find you've got beautiful succulents to the meat that you've roasted and the vegetables maintain their shape, their colour and their texture. Really healthy way of cooking with no added fat. The thing I love about the R7 is that you can cook any type of food on it and the risotto is the easiest thing in the world. 
ovens are all on. I've got the hot plate here. Now actually this dish can be cooked at any variant of the oven temperatures because all you need is a simmering oven. So in my pan already, I've got some oil and I've got some butter. And then we're gonna add some onion. Now sitting to the side whilst that's happening in this pan here, I have some stock. And the stock has actually been sitting inside the oven and it's really nice and hot because actually when you do risotto Argus style on the R7, you just tip it all in in one go. Here I've got some griddled peppers that I've cooked on the floor of the roasting oven, but equally you can actually cook these on the top as well if you want to. And they're nice and soft and this is going to be a pepper risotto. So now I'm going to add a cup and a half of arborio rice. So what you need to wait for is for it to start to bubble and then we're going to place a glass lid on top of that and it just sits in the simmering oven then for around about 35 minutes. There you have it. You can roast your meat either in the roasting oven, the baking oven or the simmering oven. And when this cooker is on your slumber mode, you can actually cook meat overnight as long as you've actually added heat to it before it goes in there. So down here, it's been cooking all night long, is a beautiful Persian style leg of lamb. So the couscous has been inside the simmering oven now for an hour and a half. And this is a really lovely weekday side or actually just a dish on its own, great for for lunch. So why is the Arga R7 the right Arga for you? The R7 is a 24-7 radiant heat cast iron Arga cooker. You can actually vary the temperature, remember? You've got your four different settings behind this door here. It is suitable for all seasons, all weathers and you can vary the temperature according to how you feel that particular day. From being turned off, this cooker will take around about six and a half hours to come up to full cooking temperature. And then if you just wanted it just to tick over on the slumber, half the amount of time. The R7 has its top plates that work independently. So even if you decided to turn all the ovens off, Actually, you've still got a really usable space on the top here. The joy of the R7 is it has fantastic cooking ability, but also gives you the heat into your room. R7, 24-7 radiant heat. The look of this cooker is classic, iconic Arga. It oozes quality. It has, remember, those premium features which include branding on the doors and the handrails, a removable insert on the door that can go in the dishwasher and also that rust resistant coating on the cast iron. The Arga R7 will appeal to those of you that love the history behind the Arga cooker. It is everything you expect from an Arga but with so much more. Remember, it's available in a variety of sizes. You can go for the three oven as I've got here. You can go for a five oven, which will include a slow oven and a warming oven as well. Or if you also wanted, you can go for a module, which will give you conventional cooking as well as induction, if that's your choice. The Argo R7 will become the heart of your home. If your home is a little bit drafty, if you're at home all day, this is a real welcome comfort. With the R7, you actually get lower running costs. It's all electric and you turn the hot plates on and off according to when you use it. If you want to see this cooker a little bit more in action, then contact your local store. See a live demonstration on the Arga cooker.
the biggest decision you'll have is actually the colour that you choose. Thank you.